sometimes the easiest way to change an image on your Joomla site is to not use Joomla at all. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. Thanks for tuning into this video, which is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru, get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. So, uh, someone contacted me through the channel. They had a question. They have an old uh, Joomla 2.5 site and an old template on that site, and they cannot figure out how to just change the background image on their website. Now, some of you watching this are going to say, Joomla 2.5, all the horrors of it. That site needs to be updated. You should update it and develop it and remove it and everything like that. Yes, that's true. But when you are stuck with a site or at a place in a site, and you need to just change one image, it's not really helpful to tell someone, hey, you should embark on a one month or two month journey into converting your site and learning everything that you don't know how to do, and then you can change the image. Uh, they need some help, and of course they need to update their site, and uh, I told them that, but uh, also want to help them. All right, so be helpful to people. Don't just tell them what they should do. Help them what they need to do in the immediate time too. End of Joomla Sermon. Okay, so let's look at the screen and we will see exactly how to do what this person is trying to do. So what we have here is a basic Joomla install. You've seen me use it on videos before, no secrets.basicjoomla.com. And what I've done is I've assigned a background image to uh, this site, to the template, to the Protostar template. But let's pretend, like this person who contacted me, that this is an old Joomla site and an old template, there's nothing inside of Joomla that will allow them to change that image. Well, what we can do is just change the image on the server, but of course, first we have to find out where it is. To do that, let's use Element Inspector or Chrome Dev Tools. I'm using Chrome here. We're just gonna right click and we're going to inspect. And in the CSS on, uh, sorry, first of all, for in the uh, HTML and in the code for this page, we're going to look for something towards the top in body, since this is the background image for the whole body. If you're changing an image somewhere else in your site, you need to find out where it is on the page. And you can always use this little selector here and select a specific area. Because once you do that and find the air and you've selected the area that you want, you're going to look over here in the CSS and look for the code that's pointing to that image, if indeed it's being done in CSS, which usually is the case. Now, as we scroll down here, we see here's body background image. Oh, here we go. Now, when we mouse over that, we get a preview of the image and we say, well, is that the image? Yes, it is the image. Of course it is. You could even right click on this URL and open in a new tab and say, yeah, that's the image. Now you want to replace this image, but where is it on the server? We see right up here in the URL, it's in templates, protostar, images, and it's called collegechairs.jpg. We can also see that down here by looking at the code, uh, which is uh, abbreviated, but if you click on it, you will see the full code. Anyways, now we know that we need to find, we need to go in and replace this image. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with a different image that has the same name. All right, now, to access the file space, go into your uh, web hosting control panel or go into, uh, use FTP, uh, FTP program to access the files on your server. Um, here I have cPanel, my company uses cPanel. Uh, so we will go to File Manager and then we're going to find, we need to find the folder that this particular Joomla site is in. Now, I know that it's in the nosecrets.basicjoomla.com subdomain. Yours is probably going to be in the public HTML. You just need to find where the folder is that your Joomla's in. So we'll click on here, and now we're just going to look for templates, protostar, images, college chairs. Here we go. Templates, protostar, images, college chairs. And that's the image that we want to swap. Now, Without doing anything in Joomla, we're simply going to replace this image with one of the same name. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to 
click on this name and I'm going to put R-E-N-A-M-E-D hyphen, just in case you want to go back. All right. Now we've renamed College Chair. So it's also good to have a reminder of what the file was named there. Of course, now if we go back here and refresh, there is no image because it's broken. No worries, we're gonna fix that. Next, we're going to upload the uh, image we want to replace here. And now I have it set down here in a folder. And here's an image, blue door. And of course, this is a blue door. This is the image we're going to replace it with. Okay, great. I'm gonna move this off to another screen. And I'm gonna go upload to this particular folder that we're viewing. And now I'm just going to drag it over. You could also select the file and go to location. But I'm gonna drag blue door over and upload it. It's done. Now I can close that. Now I'm gonna refresh this folder. And now we have blue door.jpg. Now all I have to do is rename this. And you could rename it before uploading. Uh, excuse me, uploading too, if you've already renamed or removed the old folder, uh, the old image, sorry. So we're going to call this C O L L E G E C H A I R S. All right, now we have college chairs there. Now, when we go to the home page and refresh, we've got the blue door background. And all right, technically, we did touch Joomla because we were in a folder where Joomla files are. But we didn't log into the admin area of Joomla. We didn't use any tools. Of course, for uh, this particular person, there are no tools available for them to do it unless, you know, there's ways to work it around. But this is just a simple and quick way. If there's an image somewhere, then you can't find in the extension or in a template or where in Joomla, be it old or be it current. You could just go in and change the uh, image on the server. Now, pro tip, sometimes when you update extensions, they will replace files with the core files that they have. So if you make a change in a folder with an image that uh, is going to get replaced on an up, up, update uh, you know, with the same background or that originally was there, uh, you want to watch out for that. But that's probably pretty rare with templates, probably maybe more often with extensions. Anyways, if that happens, you know how to go back and change it. And of course, there are other ways to uh, have that image pulled from a different place, a different folder altogether. But we'll save that for another tutorial. So there you go, Mary, just for you. That's how you can change that image in the back end, uh, in the background of your website. Everyone, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications of new live streams and uh, new tutorials happening on the channel and coming on the channel. Uh, appreciate your support of this channel. And until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.